Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Tech. In this video I'll show you guys the latest features that Microsoft is bringing with Moment 3 update. The first thing that I'm going to show to you is how to get this update. So first of all you have to go to search and you just type here settings. Once you see settings app you click on it in order to open and then from the options on the left you need to click over Windows update and now you will check over here for the updates. Something that you have to keep it in mind in order to get this update, you have to click on this toggle here, you have to make it on, which says get the latest updates as soon as they are available. Be among the first to get the latest non-security updates, fixes and improvements as they roll out. By clicking learn more, you have more details about this function, but it's really important to activate this option in order to get the latest update. In my case, I have already updated my computer and this update that we are talking about is this one here, which is cumulative update preview for Windows 11 version 22H2. And the number is this one, key B5026446. Normally by using this simple way, by just clicking here, check for updates and activating this toggle here, you will be able to get the latest update of Windows 11. But in case that you are having issues, I will put on the description below the link where you can come directly on Microsoft update catalog. And here you can download this latest update that I'm talking about, which is the moment three. This update will bring many new features or improvements on your PC and the link for that I'll put on the description below where you can see all the improvements and the fixes that this new update will bring to your PC. But I'm gonna go quickly to some of those improvements and I will show to you what will change on your PC. The first thing that I'm gonna show to you is the taskbar settings which have been changed. In order to open the taskbar settings, we have to click over the taskbar with the right of the mouse and we choose taskbar settings. And now we have the possibility to show on the taskbar here also the seconds for the time. So this was a feature that was not there before because Microsoft removed because it says that it takes a lot of processing time, but now because the users have asked that to be there, it will be on your computer by just activating it. So you have to come over here to taskbar behaviors. You click on here and then you scroll down till you find this option which says show seconds in system tray clock uses more power. So this is a notification that you have to keep it in your mind. That's what is saying Microsoft that by using seconds on your taskbar, it will take more power from your PC. So this was the first new feature or improvement that Microsoft is bringing with the new updates. Another change is related with the keyboard settings. So we open once again settings and then we click over accessibility from the options on the left. And now we need to find the options regarding keyboard. We click over keyboard and now it is this new function or new option that is offered on this update, which is use the print screen key to open snipping tool. By making this on, in the moment that you will press on your keyboard the print screen button, then this will open the snipping tool directly on your PC and you will take directly a screenshot of your PC. Let's give it a try once again. I press on my keyboard print screen and here we are the snipping tool will be open on my PC. Many improvements that will come with this update will affect the security. Specifically, this update will fix some issues with the Windows Defender application control and with the Windows firewall. Also, this update will address an issue that sends unexpected password expiration notice to users. Many other fixes related with the Advent Viewer, GPU, Search Indexer, etc. will bring this update. So consider updating your PC to this latest update. The version that we have right now installed on my computer, we can check by just clicking here Win version, which means Windows version. And here we are, my version that is installed in this case is 22H2, obviously, and the operating system build version is 22.621.1778. If you are having the same version, then you are on the latest update of 
Microsoft. As I said, there are many improvements that are related with the touch, keyboard, audio playback, etc., etc. But we are not going to deep on that. But you got the most important news regarding this update on this video. Thanks a lot for watching this video and please consider subscribing to our channel. Wish to you all the best. Thank you.